So in 2021, uh, with uh, Alexei Palashchenko and Peter Zaitsev, we figured that it's time. We actually went to this epic journey to the base camp of K2 in the Himalayas. And you know, this takes weeks to go there and, and get back from there, optimally. And, um, and uh, you know, after a while you run out of topics and that's when we started talking about MongoDB. <laughs> So wait, so. wait. So so realistically, <laughs> you're on the side of a mountain and you're like, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. You know, what do we, what, why don't we talk about MongoDB? Just... Well, I mean, first you talk about family and about memories from Percona and the mountains and whatever. But after a while, you know, we've been sleeping in this tent on the glacier itself. And, uh, you know, you have no internet, no electricity, no nothing. It's a very... Uh, nomad experience and and yeah that's that's how we ended up talking about uh, uh, ferret DB how there's um, we were called mango DB by the way uh, so not ferret DB back then but that's when we came up with the idea that probably it's time to 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 come up with an open source alternative to mongo DB and you know the special thing about the idea is that many would approach you know just rewriting the whole thing from the ground up but you know that takes 10 years or so with the database until people start trusting the thing look at what happens with mysql or postgres where it took a lot of time for them to 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 become what they are and uh, and uh, we decided to do something different we decided to um build the whole thing uh, powered by Postgres. So FerretDB is a MongoDB compatible document database built on Postgres as we are using Postgres as our, um, as our database backend. So a cu couple things on that. So, you know, real quick here, you know, like, like choosing Postgres, why Postgres? So one, important thing about open source databases is that you want to choose a product with a good community around it. So if you, if you choose a database, uh, you obviously get into something which optimally you will not be able to get away from for a while. Um, and, uh, and so we, we made our choice based on uh, our understanding that First of all, Postgres already offers some degree of compatibility with document database workloads. And second, the community around it is just awesome and unmatched in the open source database uh, arena. And uh, from the very start to, you know, to, to even these days, we are getting a lot of help from the Postgres community and vendors around Postgres on overcoming some obstacles we are uh, finding in our way to to on our way to to uh, build compatibility so that's that's why Postgres. 